Hey everybody, Captain Dave in the Wolf Den. One more time, and this time it's a little tip and trick when using minnow baits, fish, croakers, mullet, pogies, mud minnows, shiners, whatever little fish that you're pinning on to use as a live bait. This is a little tip and trick, and it works just as good as this other little product out there called bait buttons. And it, uh, my way of doing it has even kind of a little extra benefit. If you've ever noticed, sometimes when you're pinning on a, on a bait fish on a single hook, such as this one right here, that is a 2 watt croaker hook, also known as a kale. This happens to be a mustad. Uh, the true kales were always, I think, an eagle claw product. It could be any, any kind of hook that you're nose hooking, hooking through the lips, any kind of fish, any kind of bait fish that's live. The key thing is it's a live bait. Have you ever noticed that you pitch it out there and somehow they wiggle off the hook because of the way they hit the water. They hit the water and it pops them off the hook. And then you're sitting there fishing on credit. And you don't even know it. Well, I saw this little product called the bait button. And what it, are, what it is is these little round discs made out of some kind of plastic or something. And it's got a dispenser even where... It makes it like idiot proof to put one on a hook. Well, let's say I'm pinning on a bait fish and I'm going to use this voodoo mullet as an example of a good size bait fish and I'm going to hook them through the nostrils. Well, what I would do is I would say hook them through the nostrils. All right. Well, there he is and he can wiggle off. Well, how about this? Slide them on down. Take your little containers. I just did a video on how handy these little 35 millimeter containers are. And what I do with this is I label them, and that is fish bites. I take already cut little tiny pieces of fish bites. And I will even cut, I take big strips like this, and I cut them into pieces like this. And I use these on my jigs, and many times when I'm bottom fishing, just for some added scent disbursement. All right. So, I've got a whole bunch in this already, with some soft plastics and everything else. All right. But... I keep a whole bunch in a little 35 millimeter container like this. You take a little piece like that, and if you're sort of having a problem with really lively bait, you cut even a smaller little piece. And then, since your bait is so wiggly, you take this little tiny piece and you put that over the hook, all right, over the hook point, and then push it on down. So now, if this was a little live bait, let's say that's a live mullet. Now, he cannot wiggle off the hook or be tossed off the hook when he hits the water. Same thing that this little product, Bait Buttons, does, which is really sort of a freshwater, tiny, tiny little gadget of a product. Well, the neat thing about this is, if you've got fish bites, and you're already using fish bites, like I do, you cut a little tiny piece, and you pin it on the hook, and that will keep your bait from trying to wiggle off the hook because fish bites has a mesh in it 
and as we all know, if you've used it, Fish Bites doesn't really want to come off. I always keep a little container of Fish Bites pre-cut. I always buy mine in strips like this, and I'll cut little pieces, and I'll fill this up. These are ones that I just got out of the package. And this is another way now of using fish bites. At the same time, you got an added benefit. You not only have your wiggling live bait on your hook, but this is going to slowly melt and give away some scent. It's, a, it's up to you about how big a piece you want to use. I use just a little piece, little triangle like that. That is all you need to do. If this was a mullet, a pogey, a shiner, a little croaker, uh, whatever, that is a simple way of making a fix for it. So that's just a little tip and trick. There's more usages for fish bites than you actually would think of. All kinds of uses for this. Adding fish bites to a jig head, adding fish bites to a lure, but there is just another way of using a little tiny bit of fish bites. So you buy a package and it comes with two or three of these strips in it, let's say. My gosh, do you got a bunch of usages for them. So, there you go. It's just something to help you out. Again, a tip and trick. There you go. Thanks for watching. I want to go fishing Cause it takes my stress away I want to go fishing Try and cast my blues away